So last week on the show, we talked about Dave Chappelle's transphobic Netflix special and the conversation that ensued afterwards transpired exactly as I expected it to. You had a lot of right-wingers like Ben Shapiro, Laura Ingram, Steven Crowder all rallying around Dave Chappelle. Hmm, I wonder why. And on top of that, trans people who dared to speak up were accused of being censorians who are supporting cancel culture. But I think it's pretty clear that if cancel culture had any power, wouldn't this instance where there's supposedly so much outrage lead to the cancellation of Dave Chappelle? No, you can't cancel Dave Chappelle. In fact, he commented that if this is what cancel culture is, then, you know, it's not so bad. He likes it. Now, transgender Netflix employees staged a walkout. But before I, I show you what happened, I do want to share their demands because contrary to popular belief, the official trans employee resource group from Netflix they weren't calling for the special to be removed. There are some individual employees who are calling for it to be removed. And that was the most controversial ask people thought that trans people were making. But not all trans people agreed that it should be removed. But the demands made by the trans Netflix employees who staged the walkout, they were actually just asking for better representation and respect within their company from their employer. So Zoe Schiffer of The Verge explains, the trans employee resource group at Netflix has released a list of demands for the company ahead of Wednesday's walkout. We want the company to adopt measures in the areas of content investment, employee relations and safety and harm reduction, all of which are necessary to avoid future instances of platforming transphobia and hate speech. Employees wrote in a press release, which has not yet been made public, but it was supplied to The Verge. The news comes after weeks of controversy due to Netflix executive continuing to support Dave Chappelle and his comedy special The Closer, which many LGBTQ people and allies have criticized as transphobic. Last week, Netflix fired a leader of the Trans ERG, that's the Employee Resource Group, who was helping to organize the walkout. The company said this worker had leaked confidential information. Internally, that reasoning has been disputed. While the conversation has become mired in a culture wars dispute over censorship and hate speech, none of the demands involve taking down the comedy special. Employees want Netflix to allow the trans ERG to take on a bigger role in internal conversations surrounding potentially harmful content, hire trans and non-binary executives, and eliminate imagery of transphobic content in the office. Office. Now, I feel like all of these demands here are totally reasonable. If you are an employee, you should demand respect from your employer. That employer-employee relationship is inherently exploitative. So I, I think that them stating that we, we demand better from our employer... I think that that's absolutely expected. I mean, I support worker rights, and this is a worker rights issue, and trans rights, that's also a worker rights issue. You can't feel protected and safe in your workspace if you don't feel as if your employer values who you are, your identity, your contribution to the company. You have to feel as if you're listened to, and that's not the case for a lot of workers around the country, but I absolutely support these workers saying we demand to actually be heard by our employer. Listen, LGBTQ people, when they work, oftentimes, even if you're in a state where you are protected from uh, getting fired because you're gay, that doesn't necessarily protect you. I mean, you could be in a situation where you have homophobic bosses who are explicitly creating a hostile work environment. And if you come out, if you tell them that you're gay, well, what happens? They could fire you. Now, they won't say that they're firing you because you're gay or trans. They'll come up with some bullshit reason. But this is something that trans people, gay people, non-binary people have to deal with. So worker rights also includes LGBTQ plus rights. So I think that what they're asking for here is incredibly reasonable. Now, the walkout did, in fact, occur. And people decided to show up and protest the worker walkout. So as The Hill reports, signs from the protesters reading transphobia is not a joke and trans lives matter were met with others on the opposite side saying Netflix don't cancel free speech and jokes are funny. Now, I don't know if non-Netflix employees showed up to stand in solidarity with trans Netflix workers, but it feels kind of odd if it's not the case, if that's not the case, that you would call employees staging a walkout requesting demands from their employer protesters when this is very clearly a worker rights issue it's akin to a strike uh but either way it's bizarre that you have workers 
making a demand from their employer and then people protesting them. I mean, imagine if there was a Nabisco strike and Nabisco factory workers were making specific demands and you had protesters show up and say, well, we love Oreos. Okay, great. You can still love that, but we're talking about us and our employment with this company in particular. So you're kind of being an attention whore by trying to distract from the real issue that we're getting at here. Uh, but having said that though, there was a viral video from what is perceived as a clash between these pro Dave Chappelle protesters and Netflix employees. And there's one moment in particular that's going viral that the right is using to further demonize trans people, because of course they're going to be portrayed as the bad guys in this situation because you know, Dave Chappelle, He's incredibly famous. He has millions of fans. So people just, they don't care about trans rights. They just want their comedian to not be quote unquote canceled. Uh, but you're going to see why this particular video is uh, making the rounds online, getting so many clicks. So that was difficult to watch. It was um, cringe all around. The guy who was yelling, I like Dave, I like jokes. He was cringeworthy. The lady who was screaming at him was cringeworthy. It was really uncomfortable to watch. But right-wingers are using that clip as evidence that trans people who are making these demands from Netflix, their employer, they're just overly sensitive. They're SJW censorians and they don't support free speech. And look, I'll say, I don't think that that guy should have taken that sign away from that guy. Uh, I think that that was the wrong move. I mean, he's clearly there to stir the pot. He just, he is stupid, right? He, he's just trying to make a mockery of what these workers are trying to do. But when you take the sign away from him, then you're kind of giving him what he wants because then you saw he, he cried out, oh, they don't support my free speech. They want to censor me or some shit like that. When that's not what this is about. Again, this is a worker rights issue. And for the particular employees at Netflix who spoke out and said that they want the special removed, you can disagree with that. That's, that's fine. But that's not the purpose of the walkouts. The actual group who created this walkout in Netflix, they said that they want these specific demands and removing the closer was not one of them. But I mean, this entire conversation, it really just shows how uh, trans people are not respected in the United States because all it takes is one celebrity to say something bad about trans people and then everyone rallies around that celebrity to defend them when they receive criticism. It's the same thing that happened with Tulsi Gabbard when she basically came out as a turf. A lot of people criticized Tulsi Gabbard and then what happened? Well, trans people dealt with the brunt of that. You know, people were calling them idiots. They, they were saying that they were unreasonable to challenge Tulsi Gabbard. And now the same thing is happening with Dave Chappelle. People who are criticizing him, they're the ones receiving backlash. Ravana, she is a, a great leftist Twitch streamer. She criticized Dave Chappelle and what happened? Well, you had people who were fans of Dave Chappelle reaching out saying, oh, well, you're, you're just mad because you're, you'll are you never be a real woman. Except she's a cis woman. She's defending trans people because she's an ally. And that's not representative of the totality of the David Chappelle supporters, but it just goes to show you that anytime there's this conversation that takes place, it doesn't take place equally. There's one side who has an advantage, the celebrity, 
the wealthy person and the marginalized people, they have the disadvantage. And if they dare to speak up, it's lose lose for them. They look like they are uh, SJWs who are in support of cancel culture. And then on top of that, they get dogpiled and they get a bunch of people sending them messages saying, you're not a real woman. We don't respect your identity. Just transphobic harassment and bullying. And it's it's just really discouraging to see. Now, a lot of folks who defended Dave Chappelle, they'll say, well, look, you just haven't, you haven't seen the full special. But after I watched most of the special, that part in particular about trans issues, I watched like 55 to 60% of the special, um, it's even worse than the article that I read portrayed it as. Saying I'm team turf is absolutely bad, but what he did that was so nefarious is he not only tried to pit marginalized groups against each other, but on top of that, he tried to hide behind his transphobia by shielding himself with his trans friend. And that's incredibly gross. First of all, putting marginalized groups against each other, that's what bigots do. That's exactly what they want to do. They utilize this divisive tactic all the time. And to try to hide behind his transphobia by saying, I have a trans friend, it's not very compelling. Second of all, when you talk about how much you love and value your trans friend, and you end by misgendering her, it's just, it feels really slimy. It feels really disingenuous. And also, implying that the people, the trans people specifically, who criticized Daphne because she stood up for him after his last transphobic special, that they're the reasons why she killed herself, which is horrible. I mean, understand what Dave Chappelle is doing here. It's basically a propaganda tactic. He's trying to make it seem as if any and all criticism of him is unreasonable and illegitimate. And if you criticize me for this transphobia that I'm espousing right now, then you're as bad as the people who convinced my friend to kill herself. That's extremely gross and disingenuous. And all around, the special was just bad. It wasn't funny. Just putting aside his issue with the LGBTQ plus community, which he clearly has, it wasn't a good special. It was dad jokes. It was uh, really bad boomer memes. And the shit that he talked about was stale. I mean, making jokes about Mike Pence being gay, that was funny in 2016, 2017. But in 2021, we've all kind of moved on and we're making different jokes about Mike Pence and Donald Trump now. So he's just out of touch. But he didn't really have to try because I'm pretty sure that with the contract that he had with Netflix, he was already getting, getting paid millions of dollars. So he didn't even do the bare minimum. And he just did what right-wingers wanted him to do, so it's no surprise that they're defending him now after this shitty transphobic special. But, um, you know, hopefully when the dust settles, people can look back at this moment with a clearer mind and realize that ultimately the outcome, even if you don't believe uh, Dave Chappelle was transphobic, which you just, you're just you fooling yourself if you believe that's the case, but ultimately I think people are going to realize that this led to transphobia because anyone who dares to speak up who's trans and say, listen, this hurts me, they're the ones who are getting attacked immediately. Shut the fuck up. You're too uh, easily offended. You support cancel culture. It's just, it's sickening. And Dave Chappelle did all of this, and now he has to live with that. And he might think that it's okay right now, but long term, if he is as smart as we all thought he was, which I believe that's the case, or I hope that's the case, he'll soon realize that this was horrible and this isn't going to age well because it already has not aged well. So, you know, I, that's uh, pretty much all that I have to say about this. Fuck Dave Chappelle. I support trans people. And if you don't like what I'm saying about Dave Chappelle, one, stop being so easily offended. Two, stop trying to cancel me. I thought you were against cancel culture. And three, I don't care. Dislike the video, unsubscribe. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to share my opinion. And I absolutely side with trans people over Dave Chappelle and over you. And if you don't like that, that's fine. So dislike a way that actually helps the channel in terms of giving me engagement, helping with the algorithm. I don't care. I'm not going to censor myself because I'm afraid of pushback. If I'm getting this much uh, pushback or people are getting this much pushback for daring to challenge what is explicitly transphobic, then that tells us that we have to push back even harder because we just have a lot further ways to go uh, when it comes to trans rights than I initially thought. And that's sad, but I'm going to just ramp up and, and advocate for them harder because they're human beings and they deserve respect and equality.